Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome back to Phasmophobia. In this video, we will be going over the next dev preview that they literally just posted, even though they posted the previous one five days ago. It seems like they're really picking up steam and there's going to be an update hopefully very soon. And there are some really, really exciting announcements in this post. I'm very excited to share it with you. I hope you join me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the development preview number two. I am so excited. They're going to be posting these very often, it seems. Welcome back. We've got some news for you. We'd like to give everyone a huge thank you for the support and feedback from development preview number one. If you haven't watched that one already, I'll link it over in the top right. Some very exciting stuff in that one as well. This is something we will be continuing. Now on to the new stuff. Kinetic Games. First up, some Kinetic Games news. As you may know, Phasmophobia was made solely by DK up until last July. Corey, CJ, and Ben Lavender then joined the team to help speed up the development. Well, the exciting news is that we've just hired another artist, Jack Skinner. Uh, I, I have not heard of Jack yet. I hope we'll see him, see him around as well. This is going to be super exciting. This will allow us to create maps alongside other content as well as speed up anything particularly large in scope holy shit having someone work on maps throughout the whole development cycle from now on is going to mean that there will be like consistent map releases up until the game comes out and maybe even after i am super excited that seems so awesome like new maps just add so much new content to the game because every new ghost can show up on that map there's obviously going to be tons of stuff to do on the new maps and it just breathes so much life into the game i love new maps and i'm super excited to see them come out consistently that is super Super awesome. That's great news. Make sure to give him a big welcome in the Discord. Happy, uh, happy, uh, jo happy hunting, Jack. <laughs> welcome to the team. Main menu. The main menu UI is finally getting a full overhaul. The main menu of this, the main goal of this is to make navigation easier, consistent, and more aesthetically pleasing. The new main menus Cork port design, single player, multiplayer, trading, options, credit, just a nicer looking, uh, nicer looking, more professional screen. Uh, so this is going to be instead of the whiteboard then. So no more, uh, no more projector whiteboard. Now it's going to be a cork board. Daily challenges as usual. Weekly challenges. Isn't that new? That's definitely new. Earn maximum rewards from a single contract. P perfect game reward. Let's go find 10 bones, escape 20 hunts. So weekly challenges also included here because that's definitely new. And then your uh, ghost profile over there. So what's new? As you can see, we have we have the new ID card located in the top right, including a glance at your funds and level, as well as how far you are from the next level. Yes, that's how it is in the game right now already. That's right. Weekly challenges will soon be a thing. There you go. We will be adding a few with custom difficulty and many more with the progression update. Completing these challenges will give you a boost in funds in the future additional and in the future, additional things as well. So it doesn't say how much yet. They just left that up. To, <laughs> we're going to see that probably when it comes out. It needs some balancing. I hope they're going to be more significant. But because the daily challenges so far have always been like 10 bucks for buying an item from the store, which is just like completely useless. Like they used to not do anything. Uh, so I hope we get some more substantial rewards and uh, different rewards as well. That sounds super exciting. An example of a multiplayer lobby, CJ's lobby uh, <laughs> with the, uh, okay, wait. So this is gonna be the full new screen with the invite code that you can still hide. Uh, I'm glad custom difficulty change. Uh, so then where would you change the map? Probably also here, I would say. Oh, choose contract over here. I see. Vote on a contract using the board to the right. If the vote is tied, the contract will randomly be chosen between those voted on. So it's going to be a much more fair multiplayer system. That's interesting. Very interesting. No more... Uh T tyranny from the host now it's gonna be a democracy let's go on the new lobby screen each player will get to cast their vote on which location to play if the vote is tied between ze several maps then the game will randomize between those that were voted on very cool that just that's that's an amazing system i'm very excited additionally we'll be adding a random location choice for those who like some extra excitement let's go finally because previously every time you loaded up the map it would be a random uh it would be a random selection of maps you couldn't pick all of them which was super annoying if you wanted to go to a specific map you'd have to like reload the map over and over again to get that specific map so i'm glad they took that out like it took quite a long time for that to get rid for them to take that out 
but uh, finally that has been done. Uh, and now we get to also have the other situation back where you just want to do a random map. You don't want to actually pick one uh, and then you can leave it up to chance. You can uh, pick the random option. Very nice. We'll let you wait and see until custom is released for what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> is there going to be a special look a new map that's only for random? I don't know. Sounds just super ominous about this. Players who aren't the host will see a view button instead of a change button for the difficulty options. This means that other players within the lobby can check which custom difficulty settings are being used in the next game. So very nice. So you can actually use custom in multiplayer as well, which is obvious that they're going to do it for multiplayer as well. Uh, but yeah, you have to agree to what the host is going to say if you're going to go like super mega difficulty, ghost charge, super fast, uh, no sanity, uh, no flashlights. You're going to be like, oh, good luck with that. I'm out of here. <laughs> ID cards. We loved all of your feedback with the upcoming ID cards and agree that the the Fold cards needed some love, so we've adjusted it slightly. I said that in the previous pre dev preview. I, I think that they should give the best card to the the aver average player because the average player, there are far more than there are content creators, developers, mods in the Discord. So yeah, those should have the best logo in my opinion. So I'm glad to see that they're focusing on that. We also wanted to share a preview of prestige ones. So they're gonna reset the levels and they're gonna in introduce a prestige system, which is like when you reach level 100, you can reset the level zero and then get some kind of reward for that. Oh, dude, look at that. Ghost Hunt and Recruit, so that's the first prestige level, and you can keep prestiging with different tiers of badges and stuff. Holy shit, that looks so cool. What? And lastly, is a sneak peek of what you can expect Prestige 1's badge to look like on your player character's jacket. This is so cool. I love this. Holy heck, let's go. Sunny Meadows. Oh, okay, okay. Sunny Meadows. They're also very exciting, the new map. So that is it for the Prestige. Holy shit, that's so cool. And then we're going to have tons of this. This is why I'm so excited for the new progression system and them resetting the levels. I don't care. I'm level 9,000 right now. I'll gladly give that up to join this system because it's so good. Uh, Sunny Meadows. And you're going to get something, by the way. So even if you don't agree with that statement, you're going to get something for the levels you have right now. I think they're going to convert they're going to convert it into the new system. So you're going to have experience that you had. Basically, you're going to be like level prestige, some kind of I don't know. You're going to be like level prestige level nine or whatever. If you were super high level, I don't know how it's going to work, but you're going to get something in return for the levels you have achieved right now. So don't worry about that. Next one, Sunny Meadows. Sunny Meadows is still in development, which if you haven't watched the, the last dev preview, Sunny Meadows is the new map or the Asylum rework, which is basically a fully new map uh, because they're gonna change so much about it. Uh, Sunny Meadows is still in development and it should be landing with the custom difficulty update soon. Soon! <laughs> you may have noticed how dark it is inside. This is because many of the abandoned facilities' lights have fallen from the ceiling or are broken, adding an extra layer of difficulty to some areas of the map. That's already the case with Asylum. Some lights don't work. Man, I can barely see anything. I, I can see a room here. A spooky room and a, a spooky hallway. The male wing's bathroom and day room door. Ooh. One of the clean. Oh, this is brighter. One of the cleaner experimental tree. What? One of the cleaner experimental treatment rooms where patients were taken for some interesting treatments. Who knows what's hiding behind the camera? No. Are they gonna do camera anomalies? Like. Like observation duty, where you look through the camera and you're gonna get like a special thing that only shows up on that. Or like a ghost sitting in the chair. Holy shit, that's so cool. What that it's just like a strap. What just you can get stuck on the chair. What the heck? This is so cool. I'm so excited for the new map. I love that they keep sharing screenshots about or about it. Next one, which is also a very exciting one for many people. I've been playing public lobbies recently and I've had an amazing time. However, I know there's it's a it's a multiplayer game. There's gonna be assholes because it's the internet and there's always idiots on the internet. But now you're gonna have a rope reporting system you'll be happy to hear that a reporting system is finally I, I preface that finally being created for the game you will be able to report players given the reason for report and post it to us directly through the game 
We can then review and take action as necessary. That's so good. Hopefully this will put a large dent into the hackers that some of you have experienced in several public lobbies. This system should also be added as part of the custom difficulty update coming soon. That's it for development preview number one or number two. We'll catch you with more teaser soon. Holy shit, this is super exciting. The new, the new menu looks nice. I am super, this is honestly the biggest deal by far in this one, that there is now a new person joining the team jack uh, welcome once again jack who's going to be working on maps and stuff that is going to be amazing that should really speed that up i'm so excited because that basically that increases the team size by 33 percent which doesn't necessarily change the output by 33 percent but it should definitely be a big deal and then we got the prestige which i'm super excited for the new map which is going to be awesome and the reporting system honestly the reporting system might be the biggest thing here for the everyday player because i know that some people are like afraid of public lobbies or they don't don't like it because of the experience that they've had in the past so i'm very excited so yeah that's gonna be it for me uh super exciting stuff i can't wait to see them report or post more of these uh dev previews they've been i mean posting two in one week is kind of crazy i don't think we're they're gonna keep that pace maybe you never know it with these devs but in any case i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, dislike it. And if you want to join us on stream tonight, which is going to be like right after this video goes up, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.